Hello. In this video, I will show you how to do initial setup of Zywall 110 firewall. We're gonna start with going to the default IP address, which is 192.168.1.1, and uh, we're gonna have to log in with the default login credentials, which are admin. One, two, three, four. We're gonna hit login. It's gonna ask us to change the password. Okay, we're gonna create a new password. And we're gonna hit apply. Now we're gonna log in with the new credentials. Login. Okay, we're gonna choose the easy node. And we're gonna exit this. This is the uh, the easy mode uh, interface. Um, I'm gonna switch this um, interface to the um, expert mode, which is uh, more advanced. Uh, which is right here. Uh, also, with the recent firmware updates, uh, the firewall comes with the uh, firewall enabled by default. That was not the case in the past. Uh, you actually had to turn it on, but as of uh, recent versions, we're currently using version 4.62. We are actually having the uh, firewall rules enabled by default. So I'm going to switch to expert mode. And confirm it. First, we're gonna have to do is set up the interface, WAN interface for the internet. Um, in my example, I'm behind another router, which default subnet is 192.168.1.1. Uh, so is this uh, default firewall setup. Uh, currently, the WAN is unplugged because I don't want to have any collisions. If you have a modem you can directly connect to the WAN 1 port and uh, that should automatically um, get uh, filled up by uh, the Zywall 110 and then you're gonna be uh, connected to the internet now since I have to make some uh, manual changes uh, that look similar to the uh, static settings we're gonna go to configuration interface and we're gonna choose internet tab over here where it says when one we're gonna select it again this is like uh, if you are behind another router you want to make changes or if you have a static IP otherwise you can leave it as DHCP you're gonna get the address uh, provided by your modem right here you don't have to do this part okay so I'm gonna hit edit and what I'm gonna do is change this to fix IP address and uh, I want to assign 196 I have a, a whole range of um, IPs available but I want my firewall to be behind the, the router uh, 196 then default subnet mask and gateway which is uh, the router the first router IP address okay um, and we don't have to change uh, anything here we all set all we have to hit OK now we still not connected to the internet and the wire is currently unplugged because I also want to change the LAN 1 subnet which is currently 192.168.1.1 um, I need to change it to something else otherwise uh, it will uh, cause conflict with my first router which is also on the same subnet um, if you don't have another uh, router in front of the Zywall 
then you don't have to do this part. But if you want to change uh, this subnet to something else, um, then you can hit edit here. And I'm going to change this to 5. So it's 192.168.5.1. We also have to change DHCP server. I'm going to change it to 5. And that's it. Now we had, can apply this. Hit OK. So the local LAN subnet is changed to 5. As you can see, I lost connectivity to the router. Uh, now I have to update that information in my browser. Um, for some reason, uh, Zywall does not refresh internet connection on the computer, and it still shows the previous um, subnet, 192.168.1. So simply what I have to do is unplug my internet cable, the network cable, from the computer, wait two, three seconds, and put it back in. Now the new LAN1 subnet will refresh, and I'm going to receive a new IP, and uh, now I can connect to the firewall 5.1, which is now a new default address. Gonna confirm that, and we have to log in again. Now it's asking us to um, activate the services. Uh, we currently don't have any, but if you have an online account with Zywall, um, then you can purchase those services, uh, add them to your account. And once you register you Zywall 110, then your services will automatically get populated on this device. So you don't have to do this right now. We can click OK. And as you can see, our new subnet is 192.168.5.1. Our WAN is still not connected, so if we're going to go to a website, vvc.com, we're going to get an error. So this is not working right now. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually plug in the internet cable into WAN 1. Cable is plugged in. It's going to take a few seconds to populate that information. We might refresh this page. Okay, we're going to log in again. I'm going to skip that for now. Now, as you can see, we connected to the internet. We're getting the uh, service in. Now we can open a new tab to CNN.com, for example, and we should be getting the internet. All right, so this is uh, currently working. And by default, as I mentioned, the firewall rules are already activated. So if you go to security policy, you can see that it says enable policy control. And we uh, the firewall comes with default uh, presets over here. So you don't make any changes to this. If you want to create your own, you just hit add, and then uh, we'll do some of these changes in the next uh, following videos. For now, this is it. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you soon.